Hello, this is your August 2016 video review, monthly review and financial planning tip. I am out of the office uh, once again, so um, pardon me if you hear any background noise, but I wanted to jump right in. I'll keep this one short. I always promise to do that, but for some reason it does not occur. So last month I ran an article, um, I posted an article that was very, very popular and it was about what to do when your identity is hacked. And I followed that up this month with an article on email hacking. And goodness, this has become very, very prevalent. Um, I, I, again, I, in, in the original post, and you can, you can click here for the identity article, and then this is the email article, and I just summarized this. But the good news about this is this is modern day Bonnie and Clyde, and it's, at least it's, we're not in quote unquote danger. But so once your email is hacked and you find that, that it's hacked, the first thing that you should do is go in and change your password. Um, once the once you've done that and, and make it a firm good password then if you use that same password if you're like me I, I like to have a similar password for other uh, sites and and sometimes it's the same password so if you use that that password for other sites go change it the secrets out you want to recapture your email now I don't find that e the, uh, as frequently email is being hacked and taken over but that does occur that's more of an older version what what's occurring now as most people are getting hacked in their email and then stuff's being sent and that that's a prelude to the next thing which is check your sent box if you have a bunch of sent emails you need to contact folks and let them know that hey I've been um, I, I've accidentally been hacked uh, notify your contacts and let them know that y y this occurred and um, I'm sorry and, and it won't it's probably not the last time maybe not the first time um, and they they'll they'll appreciate that. So let everybody know that that who did receive a junk email. And by the way, for the most part, I'm finding that these emails are, it's it's trying to send you some sort of publicity or something like that. It's not malicious. I mean, I'm, I'm clearly there are malicious uh, uh, email uh, hacks out there, but most of the time it's sending you to a, a site that's probably getting a bounce back when it hits. It, they're making some money or something like that of, of just just trying to market and you want to run a virus scan run a virus scan on your computer after that just to make sure and, and don't be be alarmed if you don't have if there's no virus found it, it can be easily hacked from outside so uh, just a just an extra bit of caution and then keep it top of mind keep, don't click on things that are that are um, look suspicious and, and double check triple check before you do things all right moving on so that's your financial planning tip I, uh, in the verbiage up, up here, I talk a little bit about what GDP is, and um, it, it's interesting. And I, I wanted to just highlight this as we as we go into the fall and the presidential elections and all of that. And GDP is essentially a very wide uh, gross domestic production is is a very wide measure of economic health. And you can see uh, I, I talk about in the in the post that two negative uh, prints. These are quarterlies, and two negative prints of GDP. Uh, is is the uh, basically the definition of a recession, and you can see the huge. This was this was really that's how big seven, eight, and nine was is negative. Now the bounce back it, it goes this negative, and then as you start printing, it's it's normal to have a big bounce back. The beef against this recovery has been after we leveled off through this bounce back that it's been we've been kind of underperforming here. Now you see a little bit of better, a uh, little bit of a better recovery. And another thing that's odd, I think there's something that's going on in the data because January's have resoundingly been just an underprint of some type. Um, so there's a little bit of movement in the data. But what I what I what, wanted to point out is maybe, just maybe, because it feels like things are getting better out there. We're getting some other numbers that are beyond the scope of this. This and I'm I'm kind of holding back to get a little bit better um, uh, feel for it, and then I'll. I'll uh, uh, highlighted in, in future posts and possibly future videos. But what happens? What if this recession, and, and this is the thing, this this is what I talk about right here. I'll get it fit in the, the, the uh, video. What if this recession, this latest recession, was just so bad that it just took us a long time to recover? And that we're we're you know, after all this popping around, we'll slowly get better. 
uh, maybe I, I'm not trying not to to be a dreamer or half half always looking through rose colored glasses, but it's a possibility. We're seeing we're seeing things level off. We're it doesn't appear that we're stalling and and going down, and maybe we're going to pick up some something's going on out there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this with. Um, Again, not rose-colored glasses, but things may be getting a little bit better, and the, and the capital markets are reflecting that as well. So that is your August review. As always, thank you for your time. Thank you for um, the uh, listening and, and your ears and your eyes. Have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you next month.